Welcome back to Kettle Talk. I'm joined by Rio Gomez, a southpaw out of Arizona. And Rio, you're not coming off the picture-perfect ending at Arizona, losing to Coastal Carolina in the final round. But what did you learn about yourself and even your team this year to just go so far? Oh, well, I mean, as a team, we're very resilient. Um, no, no one expects us to go far. In fact, uh, before the season started, Pac-12 and the rest of college baseball voted us to finish uh, in ninth place out of 11 teams in the Pac-12. Uh, so we far exceeded those expectations and, um, you know, we just took it a game at a time and we went to Lafayette in the regional and just took a game at a time and then moved on to Mississippi State, game at a time, College World Series, game at a time, and then made it all the way to the World Series finals. Now, obviously, you said you read the publications, you know, you're, you're picked to finish ninth. Was it verbalized in the camp of, hey, we can, you know, let's show them what we're made of. These guys are completely wrong and we just want to go out and prove everybody wrong? Uh, absolutely. Within the team, not so much the coaching staff, but within the team, there was this, um, you know, this motivation, this extra boost, I guess, this this talk of, you know, we're just proving them all wrong. We're better than ninth place. You know, we'll show them that we're much better than this throughout the year. Now, now let's talk about you individually. You start at Mesa Community College, then go to Arizona. What led into the decision to stay close? Because you're only about an hour and a half away from Arizona. Right. Um, in fact, well, I mean, right, it's only an hour and a half, so which makes it nice and convenient. Um, for my family and for me to go home and for them to come down and watch games, especially because my dad's down there all the time to watch all the games all spring long. But, um, you know, they were the only ones that really gave me an opportunity after my freshman year of junior college where I registered it. Um, I was talking to other schools, but they were all looking at me for the year after, so after what would have been my sophomore year, which is the convenient route of junior college. And um, the only reason I even got an opportunity to walk on was uh, one of their lefties tore his UCL three weeks before school was about to start. And they called me and they said, look, if you want to walk on, the spot's yours. So I got all my acceptance and everything on the fast track, and there I was at U of A. Is there a chip on your shoulder to perform well, not only for yourself, but that you weren't given a scholarship right away, and maybe you want to prove everybody wrong because you feel that you're in the same ballpark as them? Yeah, I mean, I've come to realize, especially I guess when I was younger, I always, you know, I thought there was this difference between scholarship and non-scholarship that, you know, you deserve... I deserve to be with the scholarship guys and things like that, but when it really comes down to it, it's really all the same. Scholarship, non-scholarship, the matter is that you're on the team and you're competing and you're going to win jobs and fight against other teams and carry as far as the team can go. So you have a couple of teammates here on the Cape that are headed to Arizona right. and they follow Jay Johnson, you know, Cal Stevenson and Corey Voss. Voss particularly is a catcher, and we'll get to Cal Stevenson in a second, but what have you learned from Voss this year, and have you guys spoken about that pitcher-catcher relationship that you'll have? Oh, absolutely we have, and I think, uh, I think Voss will be a great addition. He's a really offensive-minded catcher, and um, I mean, that's a change from what we have right now. We have two defensive-minded catchers, so it'll be nice to you know mix and blend the two, and I think he's going to fit in just fine at U of A. And in terms of Stevenson, what have you got to learn from him? Uh, he's obviously an outfielder, but a two-way guy. He could be using the pen as well. Absolutely. Um, obviously, you know, his strength is the outfield. And, I mean, he's just a terrific outfielder. And we just lost a few outfielders, uh, three outfielders, in fact, just seniors that all just have moved on. So it'll be nice for him to fill the gap and fill the void right away. And now the last one, you know, it's, it's not a game day. And you guys want to go out, you know, in Arizona, the U of A. What, what's around U of A? Because I've heard it's a hopping place. It is. I mean, there's a lot going on always. Um, I mean, you know, it's a fun school, I guess is the way to put it. Uh, college game day is always a great time. There's always, you know. Rio, thanks for the time. Starting lineups coming up right after this.